I would not consider them weak because I see this way. They do things that men would not do. And especially when we are talking about foreign men. Okay. I, I am father two times. The first time my son is uh, at this time 30 years old and with four months old, he was already with a nanny because mother and father need to go to work. When I had 20 years later, the same experience with my daughter Sophia, and she stayed with the mother three years home because this is what the state gives to any Ukrainian woman, mother, to stay with the child. And is only paid the first year. The second and the third, the money that the states uh, give is not enough for a couple of days of food for that baby. But still, they all try the best to stay out, to stay out from work and stay with the kids. And this work to take care about the disease of the child, take to the doctor, go out with minus 20 Celsius with yeah. the kid, take to the hospital, go shopping, go back home, clean, iron, put the kid to sleep. All these things that they do and never ask the husband to participate, this have a value that I need to take my head about for them because me as a man the obligation is to arrive home and show the money to make the machine keep on and make mm -hmm. the wife happy to follow up the enthusiasm to live and to give me the life that I have so it's Thank not you. and they come from a legacy of very difficult times people that start from zero more than once bankruptcies from the state banks and money disappear and you have now vouchers to go buy bread and people they pass these things they know what is bad life so in our days with all this uh, internet access that 90 percent has there's no poor little girls without uh, a smartphone to use internet they 90 percent of them have it of course, and with the foreigners coming each time more, people start to see how the world is outside. And so nobody can deny them the right to um, have the ambition to reach that, the level of the American woman, the level of the uh, European woman. But still, they will want to achieve the uh, life capacity and welfare that the foreign women have, but still they don't want to give up to be the feminine, supposedly weak woman. Weak because yes. there yes. are things the men do that she will not do. Right. I actually, I totally agree with you. And I didn't, I didn't mean weak as, uh, I think that, you know, motherhood is a, is a, it's the toughest, just toughest job I've ever taken in my life. But by weak, I actually meant weak for working in an office like she knows what i meant is when she is somewhere in that time and she has all those hormones and she meets a guy subconsciously i don't think for some women it's even conscious effort they want to feel protected and they want to feel they want to give all 100 percent of focus to a future child so they are weak for the social career you know they don't they do not feel um they do not want to fight the, the career, even if they had some career before they had, they, they, met, they met that special man and they about to have a child. They want to be, usually, they want to be off from the career path and they are vulnerable to the world. So they want, the man would be a source of, um, be a resource for their love, livelihood so they can have a home, a roof, food in the refrigerator, some money for life. So it's a basically a team effort. And it just, uh, sometimes when you talk, it's, it's hard to define everything that everybody really um, understands. But I believe that the power of Ukrainian woman is that she realized uh, the teamwork could be a good uh, solution. Because it's really, when the, the, there is future and children involved, um, I don't know if you agree with that, um, that Ukrainian women see 
the roles assigned. It's a teamwork. I take care of this. You don't have to worry about the baby at 1 a.m. at night. But I don't want to have to worry about paying the electricity bill and buying the food I want. 